Whoa, we have this person here. Wow. What? Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark. I'm Cry. And today we are running still 11.4.4. <clears throat> I do apologize for my voice. I'm still trying to recover from this cold, and it, I just, <laughs> it just has been. I have it for like two weeks now, so it's it's just so strange that I still have it. So I do apologize for that in advance. We have this. Whoa, we have this person here. Wow. What the heck? What the f you doing? Right? So. That was uh, that was something there. <laughs> I never see anything like that in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Welcome to Highway Seven, everyone. We're doing a, a a little quick Highway Seven drive from Vaughn to Richmond Hill, Markhamish. <laughs> so yeah, you will see some crazy things. <laughs> Apparently. Yes. So wow, that was a good uh, a good start. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we, I mean, we are in rush hour traffic. It, it is, uh, you know, 5.08. We're going to have some, mightn't have uh, bumper to bumper traffic, but we'll just see in this run how the uh, system reacts to congested roads and how, you know, the system reacted to that. That person was coming directly towards us with an electric scooter and, um, you know, she just what slowed down. Stopped. Yeah, she slowed down and kind of like s not fully swerved, but kind of gave him some room. But there were cars on the left hand side too, as well. Yeah, so. so I think she tried to give as much room in the lane as she could. But I just thought of something funny actually. I think you deafened that person <laughs> because of the the <laughs> the honk. <coughs> I hope oh I did. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, he needs that to to, to ride to on the wake roads. up because that's the reason why it's it's getting banned and so on. Like we have these privileges and and Amazing in fact is actually technologies, yeah it's you know. new technologies and it's actually illegal but because there's so many of them on the roads it's not enforced it doesn't make sense enforcing it right i mean they can't really chase down a scooter <laughs> exactly so it's just like you see those things and then you see like three people on a scooter too as well no and it's helmet. just like no helmets on like titanic no gear. <laughs> it's just like you know some people actually depend on that for an alternative uh source of uh, alternative form of transport. transportation yeah yeah and cheap too as well yeah i mean so so far so good <laughs> um, we do have it on assertive mode let me just double check that actually yeah we have it on an on assertive mode right now and uh we're looking forward to that 11.4.5 um this uh i mean this software has been a mixed bag we have for one it tends to go into the bus bay or the bus stop, bus stop lane, or the bus bay lane, and, and uh, that was fixed. And then now it's unfixed. Yeah, that was that wasn't an issue in the past. Now it is an issue. So, so that's really strange behavior. Uh, left and right turns are, are great. Uh, still has to improve on the left turns mm. in terms of uh, moving up into the intersection and then crossing or going when it's safe to do kind so. Kind of just the speed, I guess. The like speed taking is it fine. too carefully? It's fine. It's just getting, determining the gap and, and going at a safe, when it's safe to do so. Because sometimes you, we have a lot, it feels like a lot of close calls. And when, sometimes it, it <coughs> wasn't a close call and it waited until it was a close call. Exactly. To make that turn. Exactly. So it feels like it, it's some overfitting, probably. There, you think? Um... I'm not really sure. I mean, it could be right. Like it's it's considering everything to be a close call, or like too many instances to be a close call. But then it's like it does you the had thing. the whole time and you exactly. just sat there and waited until like they're like right up to you, and then you went. It's like uh, I don't know about that one. Exactly. It I could mean, it could be yeah it could be overfitting to like close calls, but you don't really need everything to be a close call. And sometimes you don't really want to go on a close call either. Because it's like, shouldn't you be prioritizing safety? That's not really prioritizing safety. Yes. By and, making um, close calls. And that's the thing. Like, I feel sometimes it, it could be that with the suicide lanes, it could be trickling into the actual left lanes. If it has to make those close, close call left turns mm -hmm. or those left, uh, to get into those left lanes, then it, it will apply that to all the left turns. And so you have that kind of close call left turn 
every single time. Right. So, so that's something that they probably have to train, and uh, we will see some improvements and hopefully some major improvements she in a good way. S- sorry, I just want to <coughs> interrupt here. She just slowed down like kind of abruptly there. I said it could have been a little bit smoother, but it was okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure if it's because of the shadow from On the, the bridge. bridge. Yeah, we've been having the problems with <clears> the bridge. We don't know if it's really the bridge that's the problem, but it tends to happen in the bridge, like under the bridge. Like, what does it do again? It's, it just slows down, like, randomly. It just randomly slows down for no apparent reason. It's the trolls under the bridge or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think those are pretty much the main issues that we have with this update. Yeah, I mean, also, if you look at our do- uh, downtown video, you can check it out. Uh, the, the downtown video, we, I mean, it, it was congested. A lot of pedestrians, it would swerve, and sometimes a little bit too close to the adjacent lane to the cars right next to us, and I was a, a little bit awkward. So, some improvements needs to be done there, but definitely a huge improvement for downtown. So check it out when you have the time. That was, a, that was I think that was our first like actual like busy downtown kind of scenario. Because we normally go at like off times, but it was pretty lively at that time. Yeah. So right now, it uh, seems to be working fine. And um, no set of interventions. We haven't really, it's not actually trying to do, whoa, watch the right side. Oh my gosh. She didn't really swerve, which was kind of an issue. That person swerved almost into us just now. She didn't really react to it. Yeah, and I don't think that was good because they just like they went over their line and they were really really close to us. No, no, from the from from the uh, visuals, they looked like they were just really close to their line, but not really on our. It line. looked like I don't know, it was weird because they were like a decent distance and then they just swerve this way. I I would have like if it was me driving, I probably would have just taken a little more caution to that because how would you know that they're not swerving into our lane? That's true. With that kind of behavior. Even this one as well. This one right here is a little bit tricky because they are, okay, yeah. they now adjusted themselves. So that was fine. But you're seeing, it, it, it does have a faster response response time in terms of how quickly it reacts to certain events. Mm-hmm. Um, you're seeing cars, they're cutting into other lanes, uh, sometimes cutting off other cars. But in terms of how the car or the system responds, it's, it's actually pretty pretty decently quick okay that, this is really there. good i was actually going to mention the issue that we had with the going way too late for the turns but looks like it's not well okay we should be trying to get in now and she's speeding up no no this, oh, okay, this is not be our this is not our yeah. thing okay no problem that was kind of weird though she kind of made it look like she was about to go in mm. oh this one we got to Oh. line up for yeah so lane positioning is slightly off here because we have to get oh, oh i didn't have to disengage there but lane positioning slightly off should try to get left bias to indicate what's going on behind people know behind what we're doing so i would have gotten myself a little bit more on the left side and start getting into it even crossing the yellow the le- yellow line so that way cars on the right side could mm-hmm. just pass me and we don't have any kind of confusion, but the indication was, I think it was a bit late though. It, the system only started, um, Marshall only started indicating as soon as the dotted lines appeared, right? Yeah, and I think it's best to do it earlier because like you can kind of see the line up from a little while away. So you should start indicating when you see the line up because it's not like you're indicating to go there. You're indicating to go into here first. Exactly. And then you indicate again to make the actual turn and like show that you're making the turn. Which we're not indicating like at all right now. Oh yeah. Which is not really good. I mean obviously if you're in this lane you're going left, but then still it's it's best to just, you know, do best to practice. Yeah. Oh she's kinda uh, doing that a little bit too late. I had to give it some jewels because no point of return. I mean we're making that turn already. Yeah, but usually like what like for me when I was learning to drive, they said like once it turns yellow don't actually go. Like that's not really I had a ideal. random indication there too as well. Oh, that's um, right. and it, t- it still tends to do that making okay. 
she's zooming around the corner and then kind of slamming on the brakes there. Because she has to make the, the left turn here. These two lanes are actually left turn lanes. So we were actually okay. But um, I don't think she should have zoomed around the corner if she can't see what's here. Yeah, like normally with the, you know, it should be able to, well, it does. When you, when it's making those kind of capture roads, it's supposed to adjust speed. Mm -hmm. So usually she would actually just adjust speed and slow down while making those those uh, high curvature roads. This is one. This wasn't a huge curve, mm -hmm. um, but it's I still agree, enough it that you can't down. really see yeah. what's going on here. Should have slowed down because if you're going at that speed, you're gonna have abrupt braking, and and we kind of did feel that. And then it was unnecessary to make a left turn, a uh, left Into lane change. Into this lane, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that could be a map thing. That may not be. Because, to be honest, that sign is actually, like, down there. So, it's kind of hard to ah, know. Yeah. It's a if you know, you know. Oh, whoa, no. That's whoa, whoa. not if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was really rough. It's supposed to stay in that left turn lane. And then it just darted to the right lane and got confused. So, definitely... Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, she didn't see the sign. But then, when she saw it, she randomly just went into... Went that back, was really bad. Yeah, and we were on sol we were on a solid section. So, we actually shouldn't have gone over. Yeah. So, I mean, disengaged there reported that. <laughs> that yeah, was not it's kind of dangerous happen. if there's people, like, behind or... <clears throat> that was really weird. Like, that was so random. Did she think that our lane was not going left? And that the middle lane that was, was going left? That was completely wrong. I mean, like, but that doesn't we are really in the, the furthest left lane. We were making a left turn. Just stay in the lane. But the <laughs> thing is, is that, and a lot of people, a lot of testers have uh, voiced their concerns about this particular one, where it's constantly going, there's a left lane, a left turn coming up, it goes into the furthest right lane, or it goes into the right lane as opposed to the left lane. Yeah, and uh, then now you have to move back last minute yeah so i mean again that's kind of weird though like how like how would it get to that conclusion <laughs> maybe that's some kind of like um what's it called again like hallucination <laughs> it's like that version of hallucination i mean it's anyone's guess at this point <laughs> but i mean like the, the guys in, in the dojo <laughs> i'm just hoping that with uh with dojo with the training we get some really good insights and some huge improvements Okay, we're having like a weird pedestrian thing. Like the pedestrian just went in the road. I don't know if you could see that, but I guess it's really not an issue now. No, they we're not even in our path, so it was fine. Okay, we're good. I I guess because uh, I know that she's overly cautious. This is pretty smooth as well. Just the inching up. I'm keeping a sea of distance too. Yeah, did we ever have an issue with on the city streets with the kind of like go stop, go stop kind of feeling? Not really, because on the city streets we were using, um, we were using FSD. Mm -hmm. But we never had the issue with FSD. Never had that issue really. Oh, nice. um, probably, probably ag aggressive acceleration from a, a, a full stop. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, I believe, one of the late versions, iterations of version 10, where okay. it was clearly overfitted with the left turns and right turns, where it constantly accelerates. Like a super zoom kind yes. of turn. That was a, a, a clear example of the system being overfitted. And then they had to um, Just figure out the whole thing. Way. It could be a lot of different things because yeah, it's, really, it's a really complex system. But they did a good job like with uh, version 11 as a whole. It really felt like it was back to like where... It felt like they were having trouble going beyond that the plateau. Yeah, they had plateaued in terms of what, what was, was that sound? Ice cream truck. <laughs> oh, is that on that side or behind us? Not too sure. Feels like it's following us. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. So far, like pretty good drive. Like no, do we have any disengagements? Well, we just had just that the, rough the left turn, turn, right? Yeah, yeah that was kind of weird, though. Like the two turns were kind of rough, to be honest. Like the getting in the lineup, that's honestly like that's gonna be a must-have because as people increase, like immigration increases, not just Canada but in the U.S. as well, it's like there's only gonna be more people on the earth, so. There's only going to be more lineups. Yeah, so this is a tough one here. This is an issue that um, I've been mentioning with the 
uh, not being able to uh, account for this. Yeah. Being able to account for giving someone a gap on a red light, for example, or when it's right. congested. Because these people have to make left turns, right turns. Like giving um, them a space to go are, kind of thing, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, having courtesy, really, or, or or just knowing that there's a there's a plaza here, it has to give a gap if it's a red light or if there's no there's a cars barely moving. And it does see it here. Because oh. now we're in an back? awkward position here, right? Right, yeah. Because, um, yeah, we could have given them space. This guy wants to go straight. I don't know. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, not Are in a there... good spot, but... Yeah, because we actually could have stopped way earlier. And there was no reason that we needed to block this thing. Oh boy. And of course, you know, this person is coming into the They're literally half lane, inside of the lane. <laughs> but Marsha just wants to accelerate. So that's another thing too as well. Like these nuances, I'm guessing that's something that they would have to iron out. It's a little bit more complex. But, but yeah, we're pretty much almost there. So, um... I think all in all, going straight is fine, but then anything else kind of just feels like. Well, it the was, left turns in terms of the acceleration has yeah. been fixed, right? The left turns, the right turns, acceleration is is great. Mm -hmm. um, it is improved even from the first time we got it, but it, it, it the lane positioning is off. The uh, you know the last minute left uh, lane changes, uh, left turns, uh, close calls. There's an issue, and you see it's trying to fit itself here too as well. And I'm hoping that it doesn't make that lane change in the intersection itself. Okay, nice. so that was fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you saw what happened. <laughs> that was yeah, a little bit rough, yeah. but you know. Leave some comments. Uh, again, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, share, click the notification bell. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one. Whoops. Whoa. Okay. okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>